Marco, hello. It's been a while. How are you? I'm doing better now, thank you. Things have settled down at the hotel. What about your little side business? Oh, that's the reason I called you. We took your advice. We stopped our smuggling operation. A wise decision. Yeah. It gave us peace of mind, at least for a while. Otto, what's wrong? Well, our business involved a third person. Last week, he simply vanished into thin air. It's not unusual for him to disappear, but this time I I'm worried. Why is that? He left a strange and troubling note. I I'm worried. What exactly did he write? Please, perhaps we could discuss the note in person? Father Lenz is worried too. Is he? Well, I'll come this evening. Oh, thank you. We'll be waiting. And Anna, please, take care. Otto's hotel is a long drive. I should pack a bag. All set? I better hurry before the roads get icy. Good evening, Anna. I'm grateful you came on such short notice. No trouble on the road, I hope? Guten Abend, Anna. Good evening, gentlemen. I had a pleasant trip, thank you. The scenic route is still as magnificent as ever. So, tell me about your partner's note. Oh, you must have some tea first. It's freezing out here. Please, join us in the hall. It's a blessing to see you again. I only wish it was under better circumstances. Likewise, Father. I hope I can help. Any preferences for tea, Anna? Just black tea for me, thank you. So, has life been treating you well, Anna? Yes, work has been going well. In fact, I just finished writing a big feature for the magazine. Ah, uh, congratulations. Now, let me tell you why we need your help. Our contraband was handled by three individuals. Myself, Father Lenz, and a man named Gerhard. You haven't crossed paths with Gerhard, so this may sound confusing. Is Gerhard the one you mentioned on the phone? Yes, and he is also the person who left that upsetting note. Could you show me the note? Certainly, I, I hid it in reception. I, I don't understand. The note was here, somewhere. Old habits die hard. You really should organize your belongings, Otto. Let me have a look. Yeah, good. I found the note. That's it. 
Gerhard's handwriting may be difficult to read. Hand the note to me, Anna. Thank you, Anna. So, this is what Gerhard wrote. <coughs> to my fellow partners, Otto and Father Lenz, I haven't been fully honest with you. And now, my double dealings have brought trouble on us. A group of powerful people aided us with our business. In exchange, I helped them slip across the German border. When we shut down our smuggling operation, I stopped helping them to cross the border. That's when the trouble started. The group realized that our agreement was over. So they decided to get rid of any witnesses. When they came after me, I kept the journal as a precaution. I recorded the dates and the names of the people who crossed the border. I hid the journal in the hotel. So, if you're reading this, friends, you know where to look. If I disappear, just find the journal. Your next move will be explained there. This group is ruthless, so be careful. These people will stop at nothing if they find out you're involved. Take care, and I am truly sorry for the trouble I've caused. Your friend, Gerhard. Unbelievable! What do you make of this, Anna? There's not much to go on. But we must find that journal, and quickly. Any ideas where Gerhard might have hidden it? Well, we used to store our goods in several places. However, it's too dark outside to check them now. I agree. Let's start the investigation first thing tomorrow. Time to get some rest. It will be a busy day tomorrow. I've prepared room number five for you, same as last time. Here's the key. Thank you, Otto. Good night, Anna. We'll talk tomorrow with a clear head. Good night, Anna. Good night. I'm going straight to sleep. Oh, it's bright outside. I hope I haven't missed breakfast. I don't want to keep Otto and Father Lenz waiting. Damn, where are my gloves? It's always so chilly outside the hotel. the gloves. Ah, I'm ready to join the gentleman downstairs. Good morning, Anna. I hope you slept well. Will you join us for breakfast? Of course. I'd like to hear more about Gerhard while we eat. Please. Help yourself to a cup of tea, Anna. Hmm.
So, what's Gerhardt like? Is he a local? Gerhardt is from the town in the valley below. He also runs a bar there, which is how our partnership started. Indeed. His bar was a great place to sell our goods, with lots of passers-by and plenty of regulars, too. But more importantly, Gerhardt could sneak across the border unnoticed. That really helped our operation. I see. Was he upset that you wanted to quit the business? Well, at first, yes. Gerhard tried to talk us out of it, but he saw the light eventually. So who's after him now? Any clues about this mysterious group? Well, I haven't the slightest idea. This is a quiet region, Anna. We don't get many outsiders. Otto is right. Only silly rumors going around town sometimes. What kind of rumors? Da. Nothing to do with Gerhardt, just chitter-chatter about small groups of uniform people passing in the night. The townsfolk say they have never seen uniforms like that. They have no idea who the people were. Where were they heading? Nobody dared follow them, but rumors point towards Germany. And rumors about their identity is what troubles me most. Oh, who were they? A Nazi paramilitary organization known as the brown shirts. Oh, no. I hope they have nothing to do with Gerhardt's disappearance. Let's stick to the facts, gentlemen. Let's find Gerhardt's journal and see what it says. Agreed. Father, could you search the cellar? Anna and I will investigate the cabin. So, do you think Gerhardt hid his journal in the cabin? It's possible, but I boarded up the door after the murders. Ah. Then we'll need a pry bar to pull the nails. Yes. I think I used one to patch up Giovanni's room upstairs. Room number eight? Let's go there first. All my tools are here, <laughs> so we should find the pry bar too. I found a pry bar. Excellent. Ah, we can use this to open the cabin door.
Let's look around. This cabin was where Gerhard planned our smuggling routes. I found a mate cup. I haven't found anything interesting. Have you had any luck? Any sign of Gerhardt's journal? Unfortunately, no. Just this ornate mate cup. Come again, Anna? Yerba mate is a traditional tea from South America. This cup wasn't bought locally. How peculiar. I've never had any guests from South America, and I certainly wouldn't serve tea up here. It's not hospitable, for goodness sake. That's odd, but I don't see how it links to Gerhardt. Perhaps Father Lenz has already found the journal in the cellar. I hope so. Let's talk with him and find out. Stella is right here, Anna. Please, watch your step. Strange. The doors are shut. Father? Somebody's left a message on the door. Great! I found a message. Could you show me that note, please? Consider this your final warning. Heavens. Who wrote this? Where's Father Lenz? Somebody's on to us, Otto. We should go back to the hotel and keep our eyes peeled. Yes, yes. I hope Father Lenz is still in the hall. There's a spare cellar key there, too. There's no sign of Father Lenz. I should look for a spare key in the cupboard.
Great, I found the cellar key. Got it. Let's go to the cellar. I fear something terrible has happened. Have you found the key, Anna? Can you unlock the cellar door? Move these crates around. They're blocking our path. such a dreadful thing. It's those animals who left the note. My dear Otto, we'll find them. We must be strong for Father Lenz. He was my dear friend. How did he? It's just a single stab wound, but it was fatal. The blood is already dry. Poor father. They knew he was looking for Gerhardt's journal, so they killed him. The killers must have attacked while we were searching the cabin. We can't give up now. The killers must have left some evidence. Let's find it. Great! I found a dagger. What have you found, Anna? Let me take a closer look. It's a dagger. That's the murder weapon. Look at the symbols on the handle. It's a Sturmabteilung weapon. Sturmabteilung? The brown shirts? Yes, the Nazi group Father Lenz talked about this morning. So the rumors are true. Oh, God. This is all my fault. I should never have involved him in the smuggling business. We must call the police, Otto. No, no. I will be sent to prison. Gerhard, too. And the brown shirts will come for us there. There must be something we can do. Are you insane? Father Lenz was stabbed in your cellar. And we can't fight the brown shirts alone. I can't turn myself in, Anna. I'm sorry. Otto, stop being irrational. I'm going to talk to the police. It's too dangerous to continue on our own. What in the world is Otto thinking? Does he want to end up like Father Lenz? No, no more murders. I'll head to the police station and get help. Hmm. Is that Gerhard's bar? It's locked up. What if there's a piece of the puzzle in there? 
I'm breaking and entering. I hope it's worth it. I found a flag. Strange. This coat of arms isn't from this town. Why would Gerhard keep it? What if the brown shirts left it here? Otto should see this. If this flag is related to the brown shirts, he might recognize it. I should drive back to the hotel and talk to Otto. I left him alone in the hotel. I hope he's okay. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Oh. I shouldn't have stormed off like that. I'm sorry. Hannah, I'm sorry too. I was upset by today's misfortunes. So, did you go to the police? No, something stopped me. I think we're missing the bigger picture, Otto. Oh, Anna, thank you. I couldn't go to prison. Father Lenz was a good man. We must solve this. His death will not be meaningless. We'll get to the bottom of this. If we watch each other's backs, then there will be time to mourn after this is over. Gerhardt's journal will hold the answers we need, Otto. We must find it. We should search Gerhardt's room for it. He drafted most of his plans there. Oh, which room was his? Room number four. It's our only hope now.
Great! I found the journal. Do you recognize this journal, Otto? It's quite thick. Hmm. May I have a closer look, Anna? Ah, let's see. Thank heavens. That's Gerhard's journal. There are so many names and photos here. Hold on. I recognize this man. He stayed at my hotel a few weeks ago. Accompanied by that younger man. And these three gentlemen, too. I remember their rather specific meal requests. These guests have now crossed the German border, with Gerhardt's help. I suppose it was naive to think they had come just for the scenery. I can't remember the exact dates of their stay. Let's look in your guest book. Ah, oh, yes. Could you bring it from reception, please? I I'll keep checking Gerhardt's journal. Sure, I'll be right back. the guest book. I should bring the guest book to Otto. Gerhardt's journal is so confusing, Anna. Have you found the guest book? Here it is. Let's cross-check the names and dates. Let's take a closer look at the list of guests. Please, read out the names and dates in the journal. Let's see if they ever stayed in the hotel. All right. First off, Herr Fischer, from Italy, crossed the Swiss border on the 21st of January, 1933. One moment. Yes, right here. Stayed for one night on the 22nd of January. Herr Bauer, Herr Schulz, Herr Zimmermann? Yeah, they're all here. They stayed on the 25th of January. Strange. The journal says they crossed on the 21st. Herr Krause? Herr Richter? Herr Wanner? Hmm, they checked out of the hotel on the same day. Well, that explains a lot. Your suspicions were correct all along, Anna. Which means that... Whoever Gerhard was working with are the same people threatening us now. And they stayed at your hotel. Why did he hide this from us? Stay focused, Otto. Wasn't Gerhard's journal supposed to have an escape plan? It's just list after list, Anna. I'm missing something. Wait. These two pages have been glued together. There's a note inside. Dear Otto, if you're reading this, things must have got out of control. 
You are in great danger, my friend. Check the hotel thoroughly and learn all you can about our guests. They had secrets of their own. Be careful, my friend. They have eyes and ears everywhere. I thought we were getting closer to the truth, Anna. We are, Otto. Which rooms were they in? They booked different rooms across the hotel. That's a lot of ground to cover. We should get some rest and get an early start tomorrow. You're right, Anna. It's past midnight. Get some rest, and we'll start in the morning. My mind is racing, but I need some rest. Good night, Otto. Good night, Anna. Stay safe, and lock your door. Good morning, Anna. Please, join me for breakfast. I'll be right down. I had a brilliant idea just as I was falling asleep. I need a map of Italy to explain it to Otto. Found a map. Please take a seat. I've been thinking about the timing of my troubles, Anna. You're a smuggler, Otto. Surely you expected some trouble. N not exactly. It's no coincidence that these guests started pouring in when the Rega Hotel was struggling. Your hotel's always been a quiet one, Otto. And it's easier to smuggle merchandise when nobody's around. Yeah, no doubt. But I was blind to what was happening. Otto, I think I might know what was going on. Could I get a ruler, please? I need to measure something on this map of Italy. Italy? There's a ruler in the cupboard, if I recall correctly. I found a ruler. This map is huge. Where could I lay it out? Uh, put the map right here on the table. Now oh, you wanted to measure the map with a ruler. What have you found, Anna? 
Look here, Otto. Anyone who illegally crosses the border must go through this passage. So, they're all Italians. I doubt it. I think they're only passing through Italy. Look at the coast. The closest port to your hotel would be Genoa. You're saying they came from overseas. If my memory serves me right, most ships sailing from South America dock in Genoa. Apologies, Anna, but I am not following. Is this about the Mate Cup? I'm guessing that whoever is behind Gerhardt's disappearance has ties to South America. I think it would be easier to smuggle explosives and contraband from there to Germany. It covers their tracks and there's nobody in Europe to blame. It's quite an ingenious scheme. Otto, my friend, I'm so relieved to see you. Gerhardt, where have you been? We have been so worried about you. Are you okay? They have been chasing me for days, Otto. I slipped through the woods, but it's only a matter of time till they catch me. They killed Father Lenz while we were searching for your journal. Oh no. What happened? We think a member of the brown shirt stabbed him in the cellar. That's all we know so far. They are ruthless. They'll stop at nothing. They want to take over your hotel. What? What? Why? Once they get their hooks into you, there's no hope for escape. The brown shirts are cold-blooded killers. Don't fight them, and you might just walk away alive, Otto. What is this? You disappear, then reappear out of the blue and tell Otto to surrender? Who the hell are you? You know nothing of this. Otto, the brown shirts ransacked my bar last night. I've nowhere else left to hide. How interesting, because yesterday it just looked abandoned to me. No signs of a break-in whatsoever. How would you know? I was terrified for my life. I escaped and hid in the woods. I'm going back to search the bar again. Damn it! The door lock is frozen. I need to get some hot water from the hall. Teapot. Gerhard wasn't lying. Somebody trashed the place. What were they looking for? I found a gaucho hat. A gaucho hat from Argentina? How interesting. I'll keep quiet about this for now. Let's hear what Gerhardt has to say for himself.
Welcome back, Anna. I was worried. What did you find? Well, the brown shirts raided Gerhardt's bar just like he said. I found this strange flag among the clutter. A flag? Could you show it to me, please? Hmm. I think I found a similar flag under one of the hotel beds. I left it in the kitchen pantry. I'll get it, Otto. We can compare the emblems on both. I found a flag. These flags clearly belong to the same group. Gerhardt, do you know anything about this? Hmm. Let me take a closer look. This is not good. The brown shirts mark the places they claim with this flag. They call it the Black Spot. They have claimed your hotel now, Otto. Say what? But they can't. It's not your choice to make. You must submit to them, or accept death. Look what happened to my bar when I refused to cooperate. Too much is at stake. Father Lenz was murdered, and it was my fault. If I stand down now, his sacrifice will have been in vain. Otto's right. We must check the hotel rooms for more evidence. I remember some guests had a meeting in room number seven. They might have left something behind. Notes, personal items, maybe something useful. Let's check the room, Otto. Perhaps we might find a lead on the brown shirts in this room. Great! I found a box! 
Has anything peculiar caught your eye, Anna? I found this bizarre box hidden in the dresser. I'll just put it on the couch. Look, there's some sort of mechanism on the lock. Why would they store a fuse in this box? You mean a detonating cord for explosives? Let me see it, please. Have the brown shirts been making explosives in my hotel? We can't dismiss that theory, Otto, but we need to keep searching. What did your guest book say about room number two? I remember that a wealthy and stern gentleman stayed there. A high-ranking officer, perhaps. Their leader, perhaps? He must have known the group's plans. Great! I found the key to room two. Keep all lost belongings on that shelf, Anna. You can have a look if you want. Notebook. That notebook's rather dusty. I, I missed it before. May I read it, please? It says, The shipment from Buenos Aires was delivered by our friend from the south. The explosives are packaged and waiting for collection in the cellar. Collect it on your next stay, on the 5th of March, 1933. Otto, your cellar is full of explosives. The brown shirts haven't collected the crates yet. So, Gerhard was telling the truth. Those murderers are using my hotel as an explosives warehouse. We're wasting time, Otto. We need to search the cellar. has gone up in flames. We must stop the fire from spreading. Where's that shovel, Otto? There's a shovel downstairs in the cellar. Quickly, please. Great. I found a shovel.
Anna, use the shovel to throw snow and put out the fire. Anna, use the shovel to throw snow and put out the fire. Anna, use the shovel. Anna, use the shovel to throw snow and put out the fire. That was a close call. What are they playing at? The explosion was a warning from the brown shirts. Otto, just keep up. I beg you. No, I will not let them take my hotel. One of their crates must have exploded. We should check the cellar for more explosives. We can't afford to waste another minute. Let's search the cellar for explosives. I found some explosives. Oh no! That's another bomb, and the timer is running! We're doomed! I'm sorry, this is all my fault. My smuggling caused all this. I'll try to defuse the bomb. I'll need some luck. You're our last hope, Anna. Just place the explosive somewhere stable first. All right, here goes. We're still alive. I hope there are no more explosives, but we need to be cautious. I tried to imagine what the brown shirts have stored in the cabin. Oh, come, Otto. Let's see for ourselves. while I look around.
found some cigarettes. A packet of Argentinian cigarettes? This is no coincidence. Fortunately, nothing here is set to explode, gentlemen. I can't carry this burden anymore. We should come clean and go to the police. Otto, we cannot trust anyone in uniform. Neither blue nor brown. We've outlived our usefulness to the brown shirts. They want us dead. They're coming after all witnesses. You said so yourself. It's a brave decision, Otto. I'll stand by you no matter what. This is all my fault. I'll notify the police and take the punishment. Could you help Otto back to the hotel, Anna? Bring him to the fireplace room. He's really shaken up. Have a seat, Otto. Are you all right? Oh, Anna. I, I have been such a fool. I'm just grateful to have you and Gerhard stand by me. Otto. I want to ask you something. Do you trust Gerhard? He's a determined man. He always delivers on his promises. I have never had reason to question Gerhard's loyalty. How long have you known him? Uh, about ten years. We became friends after he supported me through my grief after the war. That conflict left scars on all of us. I know you trust Gerhard, but there's something bothering me. Do you know if these cigarettes are his? Well, I've never seen this brand before. They are from South America. I have a theory. I need to check Gerhardt's room before he gets back. It's upstairs, isn't it? Yes, but what do you expect to find in his room? Great, I found an ID card. The ID says, Gerhard Wagner, member of the Sturm of Thailand since 1923. I should have known. Gerhard is a member of the Brown Shirts, and here's the proof. I need to warn Otto. The police will be here soon, and... Oh, no. Gerhard won't go to the police. He'll try to escape. I can phone the police from reception. He knows I'm on to him. That man is unpredictable and dangerous. I need to find something to defend myself, and fast. I think I saw a gun in room number eight.
Great! I found a gun! Luckily, Gerhardt didn't get to this weapon first. Now what? Think, Anna, think! Wasn't there a radio in the nearby room? I could send an emergency message. Great! I found a radio. That's it! I just need to set up the radio on that table. That's it! I just need to set up the radio on that table. Now, what's the correct frequency? Anna, Anna. I underestimated you. I should have killed you instead of Lance. You monster! What have you done to Otto? Oh, he's alive for now. There's still unfinished business between us. Now, hand me the gun. You won't be needing it. Turn around. Start walking back to Otto in the fireplace room. Move, and don't try anything clever. What kind of twisted joke is this? Gerhardt, put the gun away. Sit back down and shut your mouth, friend. I've grown tired of pretending to care about your nostalgic stories. One bullet should solve that. Have you gone insane, Gerhardt? Stop this. No, stop bossing me around, you old fool. You've been useless to this business from the very beginning. He's lied to you, Otto. Gerhardt's been a member of the Brown Shirt since 1923. What? I found ID documents in his room. He's been leading this operation. Shut up. The explosion has alerted the police. No time for last words, darling. I'll make this quick. Anna, no! <laughs> oh! Otto is bleeding to death! There must be a first aid kit in the reception. Great! I found the first aid kit. Hold on, Otto. I'm opening the first aid kit now. I need to check his pulse. I should clean the wound with antiseptic liquid. Okay, now I need a cloth and some bandages. Thank you, Anna. Hurry, bring a rope from the kitchen to tie Gerhardt up. 
I'll watch him. Just pass me his gun. Gerhard might wake up at any second, Anna. Please, look for a rope in the kitchen. I need a strong rope to tie Gerhard up. He's still a threat to us. I found a rope. That'll do the trick. I should hurry back. Please tie Gerhardt up with the rope. So, Gerhardt was in the Sturmabteilung the whole time, and I opened my heart and my home to him. I'm so sorry, Otto. He took advantage of your friendship. Ten years I've been a friend to him. Only to be stabbed in the back like this. What a horrible world we live in. Listen, I hear police sirens. They must have seen the smoke rising. Drop that gun now. What have you done to this man? Why is he tied up? Wait, officer. This man is responsible for the explosion, a murder, and a smuggling operation. He's a member of the Brown Shirts. I have his ID. Is that so? Show it to me. Have a look at this. Gerhard Wagner? The owner of the local bar? That's his cover, officer. He stabbed Father Lenz in cold blood and threatened to kill us. That's a hell of an accusation. Have you found the murder weapon? Yes. His dagger is engraved with the symbols of the brown shirts. You're accusing him of being involved in smuggling, too? He has trafficked goods and people across the border. I got caught up in his operation. Gerhard lived in Argentina for several years. That's where he established contacts for cheap explosives and military equipment. He smuggled these from South America to Italy. And then his allies moved the goods from Italy to Germany. I see. These are serious accusations. What about the explosion? It was the contraband explosives, officer. Luckily, I managed to defuse another bomb in the cellar. That's where he killed Father Lenz, too. May he rest in peace. Poor Father Lenz. He was a kind man. But why did Gerhard do it? I believe he was trying to intimidate Otto to leave the hotel, so that he could keep the smuggling operation running. He faked his own disappearance to cover his tracks. I see. Father Lenz must have stumbled upon the truth, and that's when Gerhard killed him. And then he got Otto and I in his sights. Anna wanted to call in the police, but I... Otto, please. We've gathered enough proof to bring Gerhard to justice. He's awake, and just in time to face the police. I'm innocent until proven guilty. You've got nothing on me. The evidence we've collected is enough to put you behind bars for a long time. I should have shot you in the beginning. Otto would have come crawling back to me, the spineless coward that he is. You know that threatening to kill is a crime, don't you? Oh, please. As if my situation could get any worse. You will be behind bars soon. I've had enough. Gerhard Wagner. You are under arrest for committing crimes against our country. Does cutting the telephone lines count too? Don't get smart with me. Just making sure you're doing this by the book, officer. Now, Otto, you admit your involvement in the smuggling ring? Yes, officer. I'm not proud of it. 
but I'll face my punishment. You are an honest man, Otto. And without your help, we couldn't have discovered this criminal ring. I believe that the courts will grant you a pardon. The brown shirts, on the other hand, will be punished for their crimes. Now, let's get you to hospital. Thank you, officer. The pain is hard to bear. Do you mind staying here alone, miss? Not at all, officer. I really need some rest. We'll take care of Otto, I promise. Bless your heart, Anna. We'll speak again tomorrow. Okay, I'm ready to go. Otto should be waiting for me in the hall. Otto, good morning. I'm glad to see you're recovering well. Thank you for saving my life, Anna. In more ways than one. Thank you for everything. Otto, you took a bullet to save me. It's me who is in your debt. Oh, Anna. We are quite a team, aren't we? You must stay for dinner. Oh, I'd love to, but I must return to my job. There are rumors about a big case in the city. You know you're always welcome at the hotel, Anna. Thank you, Otto. I promise to visit more often. I know you will miss Father Lenz. He will live long in our memories. The police have connected the dagger to other murders. That's horrible. But we've saved more innocent lives. Justice will be served, Anna. Have a safe trip, and farewell. Goodbye, and I do hope we'll meet again soon. <laughs>